everybody welcome back to the channel today I have a rock that you can see is green and I received this rock from a viewer who found this uh, not too far from here actually not too far from where I live not in the same province he found this in New Brunswick pretty sure it's epidote but the cool thing about this is I've never seen epidote form like this before at least not around where I live and this is a large massive area of epidote this appears to be limestone on the on the outside i mean it's really interesting uh, usually epidote only occurs in metamorphic rocks so uh i'm just wondering you know whether or not i got the identification right so i'm going to cut it and uh yeah let's take a look at it and see how deep it runs in there i think it runs all the way through i can see some green on this side as well so it looks like it's a big vein of epidote which really cool uh, so I'm going to take a couple slabs off this, and then we're going to look at it in section. We're actually going to cut this on my 10-inch high-tech diamond slab saw, and it should be okay. Epidote's pretty soft. It's softer than, than agate and jasper, so uh, it, should be, it should go through the saw pretty easily, so we should be okay. So we cut that rock, and as you can see, uh, clearly looks like epidote. Now, I've never seen epidote occur like this. I've never, I've never seen it occur. This is almost like an epidote nodule. You can see it's, it's darker. I've never seen it get that dark, honestly, which makes me wonder um, what's going on there. Um, it's pretty dark uh, in the center there. Um, that's got a typical color of olivine, but. If you zoom in closer, it's actually mixed with quartz there. So I'm just, I'm really wondering what's going on. I, I'd like to look at this under the microscope, maybe. My new Tom Love 4K microscope. So let's take a look at it under the microscope here real quick. Okay, we have the specimen underneath the microscope now. As you can see, there's a lot of the green crystals surrounded by white. The white is definitely quartz. And because I kind of know the region of where this rock was collected, there's a lot of metamorphic rocks around there. Epidote is strictly associated with metamorphic rocks. And it's not chalcedony. So... It leaves me kind of process elimination. It's it's probably epidote. It can't be olivine because olivine doesn't occur naturally with quartz. So um, we can rule olivine out, which is the other possible green mineral. Olivine is also a little darker, which is why it threw me off. But the presence of quartz eliminates olivine right away. It's probably a little darker in some of those areas just because I think the uh, epidote goes deep in. So it's probably a little more... Because epidote's translucent. So... It's going to show deep, like what if it keeps going continuously and there's no white quartz behind it, then it's likely going to show a little darker. So I think the darker crystals just show the crystal going in a little deeper, uh, where the lighter green crystals are likely just sh more shallow on the surface and there's quartz in behind it. So uh, Tom Love Microscope solved the issue. Great little tool. I recommend uh, if you're into this sort of thing, uh, it's worth picking up. It's a great mineral identification tool. It helps you a lot helped with this specimen. So I think what we're going to try to do with this material today is we're going to make a cabochon. Uh, let's see how this material polishes up. And uh, I think the quartz and the different shades of green will make a nice, nice little cabochon. So let's go ahead and uh, start that now.
Okay, we finished those cabs, those Epido cabs. Uh, I only got four done because one of my cabs ended up chipping on the edge right here. Can't really see it, it's noticeable there though. So I have to make that cab smaller. So I don't have time to do it in this video. So we'll save that one for another day. But I did get four cabs, 340 by 30, and one, I believe this is 25 by 18. Actually, 30 by 14 or something like that. But they all turned out really awesome. The different shades of green and the white quartz it really makes a really nice cab, I must say. And the shine came out pretty good. Mirror shine on it. There's even a bit of translucent epidote right there at the edge. So these will be up on the Etsy store when you see this video. Just a note, Canada Post is on strike, so I have to find another means. I will be shipping it via um, alternate carrier. So we're not going to shut the store down. We're, we're going to keep going through the strike. Hopefully it will be resolved in a week or so. I hear they're back to the table. So let's hope the strike ends. And uh, yeah. Anyway, these will still get out to you, no issues, so you can go ahead and order. These are first come, first serve as always, but these will all be up as cabs on the Etsy store. I will include a bezel with each one in case you feel like you want to put them in a bezel. So I'll include the bezel with it. It'll be just a standard stainless steel bezel. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. It's a cool little, cool little rock. Found in glacial till that turned into a you know pretty nice little gemstone. Multiple gemstones. Everybody have a great week and we'll catch you in the next one.